Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Charlie Cropley with Nourish Transformative Medicine. Today, I want to describe to you what you would get out of doing a preliminary consultation with us. The purpose of a preliminary consultation is for you to learn if I can help you. And what confidence do I have in being able to help you? And why do I have that confidence? And how specifically would I be of help to you? And to what degree will I be of help to you? And then finally, what will it look like to work with me? And how much will it cost? So let's take the example, patient could have cancer, MS, irritable bowel syndrome, or be overweight with high cholesterol, fatigue. Any of these could be examples. First thing that you will do is to complete 20 minutes worth of forms that include an eating journal. These give me the essential information that I need so that I can be prepared to interact with you. And then I ask you this question, please explain to me in your own words, what are your health concerns and how are you hoping that I might help you? We have this conversation. I ask you the questions that are essential during, this, uh, during our conversation. And then I report to you my assessment. I say to you, this is what I see your diagnosis to be. This is the value I see in the medications that you're taking. Uh, this is, uh, if I see your surgery would or would not be necessary for you further laboratory testing that you may need and or referrals to other doctors that would help you in this situation. And then I explain to you, what are the root causes of your illness as I see them? And this is completely different than a conventional medical diagnosis. The root causes that I'm looking at are threefold, poisoning, fatigue, and stress. And I look at and explain to you what are the organ, organs and systems that are being affected by poisoning, fatigue, and stress. So for example, this could be your intestines, this could be your liver, your thyroid gland, or your nervous system are examples. Then, and this is what is really distinctive, is how are your behaviors causing these signs and symptoms and illnesses. And by behaviors, I'm referring to your ways of eating, your movements, your thinking, the ways you use your mind, your emotions, and then the stress or level of nourishment in your behaviors. And looking even more closely, what is causing self-harming behaviors? And we look at three things. The first is ignorance. You innocently don't know how to behave differently in a manner that would heal you. Indifference is the second. Indifference is, you could say, not caring. But in a bigger sense, it's a lack of passion and really compassion and kindness towards ourselves. And the third is, we're not ignorant. We understand what, what we could be doing for ourselves. We want to do it, but we don't have the self-control. So I evaluate, I'm looking at what is your level of understanding? What is your level of kindness toward yourself? What is your level of ability to govern your actions wisely? And at the root of all these and the core cause of illness is a lack of our ability to give ourselves kindness and to actually receive our kindness. And not merely kind words, but kindness expressed in our thoughts, our words, and our deeds, specifically these four behaviors. So then I will explain to you what working with us looks like and what the costs are that you might expect from this. And that will bring us to the end of 
your uh, consultation. And uh, then I will say to you to get the most out of your con consultation, you can best prepare by going to my website and looking around there. In closing, I admire you for your desire to heal, right? A desire to heal is the most noble, most pure of all the desires in us. And should you choose that you would like to work with us, it would be my honor. <laughs>